Hi, today I'd like to show you the basic operating of our AC source, the PCR WE2 series. Before turning the power on, make sure to plug in the IO connector to the rear panel of the PCR WE2. Turning on the power supply without the connector will trigger the protection function of the power supply. For PCR 6000 WE2 and bigger model above, the connector is located inside the front panel. Select OPR button, then select wiring, and you have the options single phase, single phase three wire or split phase, and three phase output mode. Select three phase, then press enter. And next, before select the voltage value, you can also select the voltage range. L range maximum voltage is 150 volt and H or high range up to 310 volt. When set the voltage value, select the V button. And then you can enter desired value by, by using the 10 keys or rotary knob. For setting the frequency value, which is the same thing, Select the F button and input your desired value by using the 10 keys button or rotary knob. Next, we're going to show you how to display the voltage measurement and current measurement. First, we're going to show you the voltage measurement. The PCRW2 series can display several voltage measurement, RMS, peak, and DC or average. To select the measurement display, press hold shift button and select the V button. Once you are in the voltage measurement display menu, you may choose the measurement that you would like to display. For three phase mode output, you can also show the line voltage or phase voltage. The current display measurement, which is the same thing as setting up the voltage measurement. You can also select different type current measurement by press hold shift button and then press the I button. Here you can select 
the RMS, peak, DC or average, power, VA or apparent power, and power factor. Next session, uh, we're going to show you how to set the protection function, uh, included current limit function and volt over voltage protection. To set the current limit function, select the I button and then you can select the desired current limit value by using the 10 keys or the rotary knob. When you select the trip button, which means it will set the trip time when the power supply reaches the current limit. For example, when the power supply triggered the current limit or showing overload, the alarm will trigger within 3 seconds. When the power supply triggers the alarm, to clear the alarm, press, hold, shift, and clear. Next, the over voltage protection. Select V button, then select protection, then choose the OVP. Using the 10 keys or rod knob, you may set the maximum voltage protections. When the power supply triggers the alarm, to clear the alarm, press, hold, shift, and clear. <laughs>